Hi, I'm Andy Glass with WorkshopAddict.com. Today we're going to take a look at Milwaukee's M18 mag drill. Now this mag drill is intended for industrial commercial application for drilling holes in metal as little as a quarter inch thick. It has a magnetic base in the bottom that you activate with a handle on the back. It uh, magnetizes to the piece of metal and then now you have a nice solid sturdy uh, grab to your material and then you can use the handle to uh, lower the drill head and complete your hole. Now again it's intended for industrial commercial applications, alignment, um, welders, fabricators, uh, commercial installers, uh, people that are going to use this thing day in and day out have to deal with metal and uh, drilling holes in metal either um, on a horizontal surface or vertical surface or any angle in between. Uh, this is the, the go-to type of tool for those particular applications. We're getting more and more into that metal work into our woodworking stuff and uh, we feel that the time savings that the Magdro brings us on those particular applications is definitely going to pay off. Uh, it's not going to pay off right away. This tool is very expensive. Uh, not everyone can justify it. It's, it's certainly a uh, one trick pony. It drills holes in metal surfaces um, and it does it very, very well. Uh, so if you don't do that type of work, obviously this tool isn't for you, but with the stuff that we're getting more and more into, um, we definitely felt that we could bring that in and justify the cost for what we're saving and also the convenience. It's really nice to be able to grab this tool and not have a cord or generator either on the job site, at the commercial uh, bars, restaurants, and stuff that we're doing, um, or here in the workshop and not have to just worry about cords and things like that. Uh, so. Let's get a little bit into the specs of the, the unit and then we'll talk a little bit about my impressions and uh, what we used it on and how we used it and what we liked about it. Milwaukee's M18 mag drill comes in at 29 and a half pounds, so certainly maneuverable uh, to get on those vertical surfaces uh, or awkward angles. Uh, this has a obviously a magnetic base on the bottom and it uses uh, permanent magnets um, which doesn't rely on electricity. So if your battery dies, your magnetic base is still going to do its job. It's still going to hold the unit securely to your uh, metal surface. So you don't have to worry about uh, running out of battery mid-hole and then the unit falling off the wall or your, your, uh, your, your metal surface or what have you. It also has an auto stop liftoff detection. Um, so basically that motor is going to cut off uh, if the, the unit uh, drifts off uh, of the surface if you don't have it locked in. It also uh, will not power on if your magnetic base is not uh, attached to a magnetic surface. Um, that's a nice little safety feature. Uh, the switch on the front of the unit is accessible for both left and right side of the unit and obviously on the front of the unit. Uh, it, it, when you pull it out or turn it on, it sticks out of the front of the unit. So if something would happen to go wrong or you got gloves on or whatever, uh, you're able to, to quickly bump it with any part of your hand, your pinky, the back of your palm, whatever, and shut the unit off, which is nice. This unit has a five and three quarter inch stroke on it, so uh, plenty of room to get the job done. When you're facing the unit, there's a large lever on the right hand side. This allows the head to go up and down on the main uh, column there, which allows you to put uh, larger uh, standard bits in there um, when you uh, have the chuck or uh, Jacob's chuck in there. Um, you know, the larger bits are obviously longer, and you need room to put those in there. So. Uh, you slide that power head up on the, the main column and you have plenty of room to fit those in there. Uh, as I just mentioned, the unit does come with a Jacobs chuck, uh, which is a uh, mates well with their quick uh, attach, detach chuck. Uh, um, sticking with the right hand side of the unit, there also is a rubberized button for an LED light that's going to illuminate your uh, area of your work surface. Um, if you go a little bit higher, there is a coolant tank on here that uh, is, is gravity operated. Basically, you have to have it above the unit to have it flow down. Um, what's nice about this is it's got a magnetic attachment to the actual mag drill itself. So that can go on the left or right hand side of the unit uh, along with uh, um, if you have it vertically uh, on a, a surface or a different angle or whatever, uh, again, it runs on gravity. So you can pop that off and actually put it on your work surface itself, get it above and get a nice good flow um, to uh, cool your your uh, bit that you have in there. Now we use this uh, slugger cutting paste uh, by Jancy, um, Jancy Engineering Incorporated. It's specifically uh, developed for annular cutters. You put, put it inside the cutter or on the cutting um, uh, uh, cutting area and it uh, lubricates the cut. We still did get some uh, a little bit of heat buildup and you know some smoke 
um, not too much, pretty standard. And uh, we, we just didn't want to, we didn't have the need yet for the, the coolant mist on there, so we're going to stick with the slugger paste uh, for now. When you're facing the unit on the left hand side is the switch for the gearbox. It's a two speed gearbox with the lower uh, gear at 400 RPMs and the higher gear at 690 RPMs. Uh, what's the reason for the two gears? Well, you have annular bits and you have your standard twist bits. The annular bits need to go at a slower RPM and your standard uh, twist bits can go at a faster RPM you know, to get your proper uh, chip and things like that. Uh, the, the switch is very easy. It has a picture indicated that's actually uh, engraved or embossed into the actual uh, unit itself so it's not going to wear off. Utilizing a red lithium ion XC 5.0 battery pack, you're able to get 40 3 16 inch holes in quarter inch steel. Milwaukee standard annular bits are high speed steel cutting edges. They just released their carbide cutting edges annular bits and that's just going to get you a, a higher quality, harder cutting edge as well as longer life out of that annular bit. Uh, again, it's important that you use a cutting paste or cutting lubricant um, to keep that bit nice and cool and avoid any uh, chips or uh, carbide fracturing um, or even with your high speed steel, uh, any premature dulling and just get the most life out of your bit. As I mentioned earlier, we've done a few uh, metal projects here in the, the recent past. Uh, some of the most current ones are uh, the metal I-beam uh, installation at the local restaurant, as well as some plate jobs that we've done. Uh, utilizing this drill was an absolute treat. Uh, we certainly could um, you know, do those jobs with a standard drill when, in a, a standard drill bit, um, but having the mag drill for these particular app applications uh, absolutely increased our productivity and efficiency and decreased our time it took to complete these jobs. I hope you guys enjoyed that look at Milwaukee's M18 mag drill. Uh, let us know below if you have any questions, comments, or concerns. Um, this is a relatively new area for us here in our woodworking shop, uh, but we thoroughly enjoyed this tool. If it's something you guys do day in and day out, uh, we highly recommend you check out uh, this unit. We also recommend you check us out on social media as we do uh, product review updates, project updates, and exclusive social media giveaways. I'm Andy Glass with Workshop Attic. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.